Hello everyone, 7 Queso here. Uh, kind of just woke up and it's really late in the afternoon, so that's not the best. I'm on a really shitty schedule right now, but hopefully that'll get fi fixed soon. Hopefully. But, um, yeah, gonna do kind of like a video response thing, something I don't do that often, but, um, Derek, in his latest videos, it was like, um, showing off like some of the scary records, I think. I think I'm making a video response for video response. Just a little weird, but anyway, uh, in that video, he was like, he shut off a five-inch record, and he was like, "Oh, do any anyone else have any five-inch records?" And I do, actually, have quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shut off those and um, my other obscure loose size records. I have a four-inch and uh, a couple six inches. So let's get right into that. Six inches are my favorite. If anyone else has any six inches, I love those for some reason. It's just a great in-between between. between. Obviously, a great in between between a seven inch and a five inch, duh. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's get right into it. Some of these, like, most of these, I think I've actually shown already. But uh, here is a four inch lathe cut record from a band called Hers. Very sorry, it's backwards again. But um, really cool band. Uh, really cool packaging, sealed with a kiss from one of the members. And yeah, it's a little. Just a little old four inch. Right there. There's only about a minute of music on this altogether, you know, taking up both sides. It's really cool. There was only twenty of these, and they're all it's way sold out by now, so very nice to have that. Uh that's the only four inch I have. Uh going on to five inches now, which is what Derek talked about. Uh, here, showed this kind of recently, here's the Suffering Mind split with Satan, or S-A-T-A-N, it's an abbreviation for something. Anyway, yeah, uh, Suffering Mind, Satan, uh, really, really cool split. I've been wanting this for a while, or I have been wanting this for a while, just because I'm a Suffering Mind collector. It's on red vinyl. Three tracks from Suffering Mind, they're great. Love this split. Um, here's one. This is a uh, split between Unholy Grave and Nake. Nake. Uh, really cool split. One track from Suffering Mind, or Suffering Mind, Unholy Grave, which is an awesome track. Uh, it's kind of got this like rockin' riff to it. It's pretty good. Nake is brutal grindcore. Very very fast. On black. Cool little split. Uh, to Live Alive helped release this. It's always good to get more To Live Alive records. Now, one thing I don't like about 5 inches is that you can't get dust sleeves for them. Or it's very hard to, so normally just someone throws in like a little piece of paper or something to act as a dust sleeve, kinda. Which is alright, but you know, would like to have a dust sleeve. Someone should make 5 inch dust sleeves. Here is a 5 inch EP from a band called Vaccine, which is probably my favorite straight edge hardcore band. Kind of, They're kind of like power violence, but very, very fast, very aggressive, very hateful. This is the Crimes and Blood 5 inch EP. Uh, this is probably a repress, but I don't know what. I don't even know if this is on colored vinyl. No, it's on black. Painkiller Records press this. Uh, very sought after 5 inch vaccine. Uh, it's a very, very popular for record collectors who are into hardcore. Uh, if you want to get into vaccine, I'd suggest. Why can't I get this in here? Start out with uh, their Human Hatred 7 inch. That is a fucking outstanding release. Um, here's something uh, it's the split. Between Spaz and Gob. It's five inch. Love the packaging on this. Made to look like Ernie Ball, a pack of Ernie Ball strings. There's a five inch, it's black. I don't want to get this out. But yeah, it comes with a sticker too. You can also get this on clear. But yeah, really cool split. I think there's how many tracks there from Spaz. I don't know. But uh yeah, pretty cool split. Always good to get more spaz, of course. 
Split 5 inch between the Gorefabric Nosebleed and A and B. This is uh, an all, an all covers, well, kind of an all covers. A and B do one original, I think. But yeah, most of the songs are Gang Green covers. So, not, I, I only, I got this in a trade, and I'm glad I did, because I didn't want to pay, like, the six bucks for it. And I'm trying to get a whole bunch, of, like, as much A and, mm -hmm. excuse me, as much go for with Nosebleed as I can. Not clear. So yeah, happy to have that. Ah, here's a good one. Split between extortion and rupture. Love extortion so much. I think I have another. I have another five inch from them on the way, but this is great. This has been re repressed four times. It's on clear yellow. Don't know what pressing this is, but I've seen this go for like ten bucks. So it's pretty cool. Great split. Three tracks from Extortion. One from Rupture. I don't like Rupture, but you know, Extortion is the bomb. Moving on. Hell Nation. Hell yeah. One of my favorite fast core bands. This is the At War with Emo 5 inch. This is a slap a hammer release. And it's on yellow. Look at that. Solid yellow. Very nice. Really cool 5-inch. Uh, great. Finally great to have this. Uh, I got this a while ago, actually. It's always good to get Slapham and Hell Nation. Love Hell Nation to death. Get in the sleeve. There you go. We're listening to Actuary, by the way, which is a noise band. I don't know if you can hear that. If you're wondering like, what that... Sound is in the back, it's actuary. Uh, split 5 inch picture disc with the Locust. And. Ugh, Jenny Piccolo. Not my favorite split, but it's a cool picture disc, and the Locust side is decent. Here's a really cool thing. Is, yeah, last five inch is uh, the Hummingbird of Death Goat Meal five inch. Look at all those tracks. Twenty tracks altogether on this. Nineteen of which are on side A. Uh, great fast core release. Notorious, just because of how ridiculous it is. <laughs> but you know, very impressive too. Each one of these tracks sounds different from the other. And uh, you know, I've talked about this before. It's a great five inch. Love Hummingbird of Death. Can't wait to get their new album, which will hopefully be out soon. Got delayed at the pressing plant. Um, this is really in between 5-inch and a 6-inch. This is another release by her, the, by hers. It's another lathe cut. This is a square 5.5-inch. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. 5.5-inch lathe cut <laughs> called Dime, Dime Bag EP. That was all sorts of shmut on it. That. Limited to 20 again. Sold out. Really cool to have that. It's a much better sounding lathe than the 4 inch. Moving on now to 6 inches, and I got four of them. Here is one of my prized 6 inches. This is the Agorphoric Nosebleed PCP Torpedo. 6 inch. Very, very cool to have this. Love a go for the nosebleed, as you all know. It's on red with some black in there. Hydrahead Records put this out. Hydrahead is unfortunately closing down in December, which is very, very, very sad. They released some classic records, cl records that I hold very near and dear. <laughs> so that's a very unfortunate thing. Yeah, there's that. Not my favorite Agoraphobic Nosebleed release, but so cool to have. Next, 6 inch. Another Hummingbird of Death. It's their split with Sidetracked. And Sidetracked, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fast core bands. Love them to death. This is on black. And they definitely got the 
So the center label's reversed on this, if I remember correctly, which is always interesting. There's that. Uh, next one, another suffering mind. So they're split six inch with Protestant. <laughs> Excuse me. Really awesome split. Two tracks from each. This is their debut recording with their new singer, Radic. I think that's his name. It's another Tilda Lie release, too. Uh, excellent split. Suffering mind size, great. Protestant, I'm not too fond of. It's on clear orange, or gold, if you will. An awesome release. Last six inch I'll show that I have is uh, from a band called What Happens Next, which is my favorite thrash core band. I normally don't like thrashy hardcore at all, but for some reason I love What Happens Next. And this is a six inch EP called Brutal Fearing. It's in a seven inch sleeve. And there it is. It's on black vinyl. Haven't listened to this in a while. I'm sure it's great, as most uh, of what happens next releases are. <laughs> awesome release. So yeah, Derek, I hope you found this interesting. Um, check out some of these bands if you haven't heard of them yet. Uh, I love obscure records. I'd love to see other people's you know, weird sh shapes and sizes of records. Uh, I'm getting a... Personally, I'm getting an 8-inch lathe cut made in the near future. Very excited about that. Just uh, confirmed the details today. Get the fuck out of here, fly. And uh, yeah, so more updates on that, but uh, very excited. Hope you're doing well.